Hello, and welcome to this special place to be with God. This is the place where we can talk to God and listen to God and tell the stories of God, a place where we don't have to hurry because we have all the time we need. So I want to start this morning, as we always do, with our greeting. And so I want to say, may the peace of God be with you all. And then your response is, and also with you. Today is the 18th Sunday after Pentecost. And so if you want to take a look at our calendar on the wall, you can see that our arrow is pointing to the 18th Green Sunday. And um, we are making our way through the church year and our next special season will be Advent, which are the purple Sundays at the top, the four Sundays when we are celebrating the mystery of how Jesus came to be with us on Christmas. So I want to go ahead and light our Christ candle. And we light this every time we get together because it reminds us that Christ is always with us wherever we are and especially when we gather together to hear one of God's stories. So today's story is about Abram and Sarai and it's found in the book of Genesis in chapter 12. And I'm going to read verses 1 through 4. Now the Lord said to Abram, Go from your country and your kindred and your father's house to the land that I will show you. I will make of you a great nation, and I will bless you and make your name great, so that you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you, and the one who curses you I will curse. And in you all the families of the earth shall be blessed. So Abram went as the Lord had told him. So before we move on to learn a little bit more about this story, I invite you to get comfortable and settle in. You know how to get your bodies ready to hear one of God's stories. And then we are going to sing together, Be Still and Know, um, which helps us get our minds and our hearts ready to hear God's word. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. So when we sing that song, we know it's time to hear one of God's stories. So I'm going to move our candle to the side so that we have plenty of time for to, or plenty of space for today's story. We're using the desert box today, so I know that you would like to be here in person for that, especially. This is the desert box. So many important things happen in the desert that we just have to have a small piece of it in our room. The desert is a strange and a wild place. At nighttime, it's very cold. But in the day, it is burning hot. There is almost no water. And the desert is always changing. The wind comes and it blows and it shapes and it molds. So the desert is never the same. Once, Abram
and Sarai lived in the beautiful city of Haran. The one true God loved Abram and Sarai. And one day God said to Abram, move to a new home and a new land. It will be all right. You can trust me and I will be with you always. And I will bless you and I will make you a blessing. Abram and Sarai looked across the desert. It would be sad to leave their home and their friends. They wondered if they would be safe. Would God still be with them? So Abram and Sarai went. And they came to a place called Shechem in the land of Canaan. God had been with them in Haran. Would God be with them in Shechem? Then God said to them, look at all this land. I will give this land to your children. Abram and Sarai were so happy that God was with them that they couldn't help but give their thanks to God. So they built a special place, an altar. And they prayed their thanks to God. Then they moved to a place near Bethel. And God was there too. And again, Abram and Sarai were so happy that God was with them that they built another altar. They prayed their thanks to God. Then there came a great famine, so there was not enough food for them to eat. They and their family were very hungry. So Abram and Sarai moved to the land of Egypt to find food. Abram was scared. He was scared of the people in Egypt. He forgot that God had promised to be with him. But God didn't forget. God kept Abram and Sarai safe. The Egyptians were good to them, and they gave them food and animals. And then Abram and Sarai moved back to the land of Canaan the land that God had promised to give them. They moved to a place called Hebron. God had been with them in Haran and in Shechem and near Bethel and in Egypt. Would God be with them in Hebron too? Then God said to them, I will give you many children to live in this land. Abram and Sarai were so happy that God was with them, but they couldn't help, that they couldn't help 
but build another altar and pray their thanks to God. They prayed their thanks to the one true God who was always with them wherever they went. Now Abram and Sarai knew that the one true God who spoke to them and showed them the way was in every place and every time just as God had promised. I wonder how Abram and Sarai felt when God asked them to leave their home and their friends. And I wonder how it felt to move when they didn't even really know exactly where they were going. I wonder if you have ever had to go somewhere where you didn't exactly know where you were going. I wonder how Abram and Sarai felt going through the desert looking for a place to live. But then I wonder how they felt when God spoke to them in each of these places. I wonder what God was doing when Abram and Sarai were moving to all these places. I wonder where God is when you go from place to place. I wonder how many places God can really be. You might have your own wonderings about this story. So I invite you to think and talk about that a little bit more. Now I'm going to change our light. We change the light to remind us that the light of Christ that was in one place at one time can now be in many places at all times and is with us wherever we go. Amen.